Okay, hi, uh, I'm Dr. Fidaus. Today we are going to examine the patient's uh, abdomen. Uh, once uh, you enter the room, okay, uh, you please listen to the cue. Usually the, instru the instructor or the lecturer will ask you to examine the abdomen. So make sure if patient is in sitting position, you ask patient to lie flat on the bed. Uh, once you see the patient, you need to comment on the patient's general appearance, whether this patient uh, lying comfortably on the bed, uh, whether this patient is comfortable uh, with one pillow. Uh, make sure that you need to examine the surrounding area of the patient, especially when a uh, patient has certain devices or apparatus attached to the patient. For example, continuous bed drainage, drain, a tube, bag, uh, a surgical drain, any branula attached to the patients, uh, any uh, uh, monitor, okay? Uh, and also, uh, it's important for you to uh, comment uh, the general appearance of the patient. Uh, just have a look again. Okay, in examination of the abdomen, it's important for you to expose properly. In this case, we need to uh, expose uh, uh, from the nipple line up to the mid-thigh. Uh, uh, but most of the time, uh, we just put it uh, at just at the suprapubic region for the patient's modesty. But beware if this is hernia patient, you need to expose uh, the groin, uh, the, the, uh, the external genitalia. Saya kasih turun sikit, eh? Okay. Boleh kasih buka sikit, eh? Kasih buka. It's important for you to uh, take up uh, uh, the, the, the button, eh? Saya, uh, saya kasih turun bawah sikit Make sure you expose the suprapubic region Okay, in this case uh, Since this is abdominal examination You need to expose the upper chest Because there are the certain signs that we need to look at Okay Tangan kau boleh kasih begini Okay, patient must be in anatomical position if you have difficulty to examine, you can ask the patient to just locate or just uh, make sure he's near to you. Huh? And then, expose the lower limb as well. Okay, you need to comment on whatever sign that you see. Okay, uh, so in uh, general, uh, this patient is lying uh, comfortably on the bed with one pillow. Huh? He's not in respiratory uh, distress. Check tangan sekejap, eh? You need to compare with your hand. Okay, in this case, huh? okay, uh, I can see the palma irritima here. Okay, but the, the hand is not paler. Huh? Uh, there's uh, some discoloration at the center of the palm. Hmm? Okay, and you can see there's a multiple uh, pinpoint uh, skin uh, hyperpigmentation. And the skin appears to be uh, hyperpigmented. Eh? There's no uh, liconic here. Then you check the pulse. Of course, you measure the rate. Okay, this patient has 90 beats uh, per minute, uh, uh, regular uh, rhythm, and uh, good volume. Okay. Then you need to check for any injection mark. Remember, this is examination of the abdomen uh, uh, which is consistent with any uh, signs of stigmata of chronic liver disease and then you need to comment on that there's no puncture mark okay okay there's no tattoo okay boleh kau tengok bawah ini okay there's no uh, pel there's no jaundice tengok atas okay uh, there's no uh, pele huh? Okay, there's no uh, parotid gland enlargement. Okay, you need to examine the upper chest for spider nevi. Okay, there's no gynecomastia, uh, but the uh, hair is quite uh, scarce. Huh? Uh, there's uh, no uh, minimal uh, axillary hair. Then we go to the lower limb. This is how you examine uh, the pedal edema. Eh? Okay, so tekan sikit lah. Eh? Mm. Uh, kalau sakit begitu. So we uh, press on the flat surface of the tibia. 
just above the medial malleolus tekan sikit when you press you need to look at the patients eh? because this is painful action eh? you see there's a slight period edema okay and then the the lower limb appears to be shiny and there's multiple uh, reticular veins okay both sides of the lower limb okay concentrating to the abdomen the the abdomen appears to be flat huh? it's not the standard the uh, umbilicus is centrally located and it moves with respiration uh, i can see there's a big uh, surgical scar transverse surgical scar noted over the left side uh, or over the left hypochondrium and it heals with uh, primary intention okay you need to measure the scar okay Andrenas, boleh ke sini sikit? Ke sini sikit, sini sikit. Pusing sini sikit. Okay. Okay. The scar is uh, 17 eh? centimeter in long. Eh? Okay. Saya mau angkat sikit ni. Eh? Sorry. Eh? Okay, sorry. Cuba kau tengok kiri, kau batuk. Lagi? Lagi? Okay. Cuba kau angkat kepala, tengok kau punya kaki. Okay, okay. So there's no inguinal as well as incisional hernia. Eh? By asking the patient to uh, increase intra-abdominal pressure, you can ask the patient to look at the patient's toes. Uh, it can uh, induce any uh, appearance of uh, occult uh, hernia. Okay. Ada sakit mana mana? Sepekan sakit nae. Okay, when you palpate, you need to look at the patient's face. We start with superficial palpation first. Okay, be as comfortable as possible. Okay, you need to put your hand flat, your palm flat, and then your 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 fingers is the one that press. This is to look for tenderness eh, for superficial palpation. Okay, then we go for deep palpation. You can follow the nine region. Eh. Okay, from the examination, there is a uh, hepatomegaly uh, felt around two finger breath uh, below the subcostal margin. Okay, uh, it felt uh, firm in consistency, non tender, and then uh, it has a well defined margin. Okay, then we concentrate to this uh, hepatomegaly. Uh, Adrianus boleh tarik nafas. Okey, lepas. Kau follow saya eh. Okey, lepas. Lagi. Lepas. Lagi. Lepas. Lagi. Sekali lagi. Okey. Okey. So you then you look for the upper border eh, because you want to look for the liver span. Uh, you look for the uh, angle of Louis. Okay. Then you go to the right side. At the mid clavicular line. Eh.
okay it is consistent with 15 centimeter okay uh, in which it it is uh, hepatomegaly yeah? normal liver span is 8 to 12 centimeter okay just now uh, when we examine uh, uh, I cannot feel any mass over the left hypochondrium and this is long case I know that the patient had uh, splenectomy uh, uh, previously however uh, it's, it's okay if you want to proceed with examination of the spleen because uh, sometimes in uh, in thalassemia patient uh, in certain condition what we call as uh, spleen, spleen and coli eh? there's accessory spleen uh, that will be present eh? after surgery after splenectomy okay uh, so um, there's no harm if you want to examine you want to you want to still proceed with examination of the spleen even though uh, in short case you think patient had splenectomy already okay okay boleh kasih saya check sini eh? okay uh, tarik nafas lepas lagi lepas lagi lepas lagi lepas lagi lepas lagi Okay. 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 You focus on the uh, throat space. Uh, it's it's uh, resonant in in, in nature. Uh, <coughs> when you have a, a mass on the abdomen, especially over the right hypochondrium, you need to you need to differentiate it with uh, uh, liver mass or non liver mass, uh, non hepatic mass. In this case, I can say that this is liver because it moves, uh, the mass moves with respiration and I cannot get above the swelling. Uh, uh, if let's say there's a splenomegaly, you need to know, you need to differentiate whether this is spleen or other mass. Uh, in spleen, similar to the liver, it moves with respiration and then you cannot get above the swelling and uh, you can feel there's uh, uh, there's a uh, splenic uh, hilum uh? Uh, and uh, the way it moves uh, it elongate it enlarge it enlarge diagonally uh, uh, towards the umbilicus uh, this uh, these are the uh, sometimes question that will be will be asked uh, to you guys then we proceed with uh, kidney you need to bail out the kidney the way you bail out is the examin examination hand should be on top okay okay once you press the the, the below hand must feel for any pass then uh, the the lower hand uh, push the upper hand uh, the top hand must feel this is what you call as bail out nah? Then you see my hand at almost always the examination hand uh, will be on top. Okay. Uh, next we ex uh, we do shifting dullness, uh, in which we pass uh, until we hear we hear the uh, resonant uh, the the dullness sound, the dull sound. Uh, Adrenus, jump, pushing. Okay. Oh, besudah. Okay. Eh? Okay. Yeah. okay. So, uh, the gist behind this, behind it, is, is that we need to pass uh, from medial to lateral until you can hear a dull sound. Ah, uh, meaning that there's a, a fluid. Uh, being percuss so you put your hand for a while as the patient to shift turn and then uh, if the, say there's a fluid it will flow down uh, following the gravity you repeat back uh, of course the sound will be resonant 
ah uh, meaning that the 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 fluid already shifted ah uh, to, uh, to the low i mean following the gravity ah uh, okay one more thing is if let's say in thalassemia patient uh, not being operated yet uh, how you do shifting dynamics is should be on the right side because there will be a huge spleen over the left side eh? uh, remember about that ok, instead of doing to the left side you pekas to the right side ok, as a patient to push to move over that side eh? left lateral ok, uh, one more is uh, fluid trail uh, usually we do it in a very gross ascites eh? uh, this is not gross abdomen eh? gross dis grossly distended abdomen uh, sometimes in cirrhotic patient you can see very grossly distended abdomen what you can do is you can ask the examiner to help you to put at the center or you can ask the patient to do that can you help me to do this center ok you put the side and then you flicker huh? ok you can feel some uh, vibration over the left side if let's say there's a gross uh, ascites inside huh? uh, then finally you Okay. listen for bow sound uh, this is bow sound it is low, low pitch voice ok low pitch sound so you can use a bell ok huh? Uh, patient has good power sound. Eh? I'd like to uh, finish my examination by checking the testes eh? because in thalassemia sometimes they can have testicular atrophy. Eh? Uh, same goes to cirrhotic uh, liver disease as well. And also digital rectal examination to look for any uh, anal uh, mass and as well as the color of the uh, feces. Eh? Uh, because sometimes they, 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 they tend to be jaundice, etric. Uh, we need to know the color of the feces as well yeah i think that's all okay thank you very much